Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Thomas Addison. And Thomas has this question. Thomas observes that the lines of the palm change over time. They are somewhat different from what they might have been a year ago, possibly very different from five years ago. And so his question is, how can palmistry be used to predict a specific outcome when the lines change so much? And there are several different answers that I would make to this. And the first is that the future is not written in stone. We can change the future through our actions and decisions, and therefore it makes perfect sense that the lines in the palm which relate to that kind of predictive outcome could change as well. Uh, to some extent, I'd say there's be much less purpose to using divination if we could not change the future by making new and different decisions. So it doesn't seem odd to me that the changes we make in our lives might also change our palm. The second thing I would say to this is that in my experience, although palmistry can be used to predict particular outcomes, it's more commonly used for character analysis. And we can certainly change our character by self-improvement, by education, uh, and by our reactions to our experiences. And so again, it makes perfect sense to me that those lines would change as a result of changes in ourselves which occur through natural living as well as through intentional change that we may make in ourselves. And the final comment I would make to this is that it also depends on the palm. Some people have palms where the lines change dramatically and frequently over time, others do not. As I look at my own palm, uh, I see that it really has not changed substantially in 30 years. I'm sure there are small changes, but all of the major lines are pretty much as they were and most of the minor ones that I can see as well. Now, it is different from what it was 40 years ago. The lines are much more distinct. There are far fewer fiddly little lines uh, besides the major lines. Uh, it has become much clearer over time, but once that happened, it's pretty much stayed the same. Working with palmistry, I've noticed that, that palms are very individual, very unique, and very, very different. My palm has all kinds of lines in it, and again, when I was younger, had far more. Uh, all kinds of little fiddly lines, uh, everywhere. And now um, the many lines in the palm are far more distinct. My mother's palm had really only the major lines, no minor lines at all to speak of, and the major lines are very deeply incised. As different from mine as night and day. So if in looking at your palm you're seeing frequent changes, this itself is a commentary uh, upon uh, the nature of your life and your purposes. That it involves a great deal of transformation, change, and growth that will occur. So, in the end, I don't really think that it's at all odd that lines should change in a palm, and I don't see that it in any way impairs the ability to use palmistry either for character analysis or for predictive purposes on the understanding that the future is malleable. What would be the point of being witches and using magic if you could not change the future? It would make no sense. So those would be my thoughts on the subject. I hope you find them helpful. And until next time, may your blessed be.